Hi, I'm Chris Tidy from uh, Centurion Safety Pros. I'd like to go through with you today on how to connect our Nevis Fresh Air system, and that will be either the powered version or if you were using it as an unpowered version, okay? Uh, so if I just uh, bend down, the uh, product's just here in front of me. So just grab the uh, power unit. So you can see the power unit there if I just twist it round and basically try and get a nice view onto the top for you. You can see here we have an on and off switch. So you'll need to toggle that switch to on when you need to use it. And here you can see our air regulator switch here and you can see a little bit a little mark actually there so there's a, a, a given mark actually there if you're connecting a single nine meter hose or a twin nine meter hose that's roughly the level that you um, would require to have it set to that provide you with more than enough air okay um, if you do connect to longer hoses then you might need to adjust that obviously uh, very slightly so looking at the connection we have two sides it's a two-man power unit so it'll actually power two lots uh, of hoses uh, so connecting into this side we connect obviously to our using our green hose and our green hose would just go onto the connection as you see there just twist it on just hand tight is uh, more than sufficient okay just pop that off of there you can see the other end i've got a cap actually over that so you keep that cap on if you were a single man operation of course if you're a two man operation you take that cap off there is a hole in the cap the reason for it is to allow if you're a single man operation for air to escape just to balance and regulate that flow actually to you the other end okay so that's the uh, power unit just pop that down on the ground if you was connecting up as an unpowered version and you were using our anchor and our uh, strainer so our anchor pin and a strainer that you can see me holding there uh, the anchor pin going to the ground and the end of your green hose would connect to your strainer that you can see there in again obviously just twist it onto that that strainer okay so that's your connections to there now when we're connecting up to the belt the other end of the green hose would then connect onto the bottom of the belt so look for the the finer screw that you can see there and again you just screw that actually onto the the belt connector there so when we're looking at our twin hose system you can see that i've got our twin hose already connected to our nevis mask that you can see there and i just wanted to get close up and show you these markings here okay on there you've got couple of padlocks one closed one open basically so when you're connecting this up what you need to do is you just need to line up there's a mark just onto there you just need to line up your open padlock with a mark onto there and then just twist it through and up okay and the same for the other side so you'll connect it open padlock to that marker and you twist up and connect it and you do exactly the same to the other side okay when you're taking off the uh, the Nevis mask, you can connect the keep these uh, twin hoses actually connected to the mask. There's no need to keep uh, removing these, uh, so just keep them connected actually onto the mask, and you can remove it actually with them on the mask. Now, when we're connecting up to the other end of our belt loop, so obviously your twin hose. So remember, you've got your green hose assembly that would be connected to that part, and now we're just going to connect up our twin hoses actually onto there and we're just twisting that nut there actually onto there okay to connect it up okay so that's how you connect our uh, powered fresh air or unpowered um, fresh air system uh, together i'll just pop those back down onto there so thanks very much uh, uh, for watching i've been chris tidy look after yourself uh, but most of all stay safe